Hi, I'm Kyle Mitchell with Whitaker Brothers, and this is Office Gray 104 Hard Drive Shredder. This is a really special product for a couple of reasons. First of all, it does hard drive. There's not a lot of stuff out there that can. Second of all, it is self-contained. So historically, something big enough to shred hard drives would have to be put into a warehouse where it can make all the noise it wants, so it's not going to bother anyone. And this is self-contained, and uh, it's not going to blow out the eardrums of everybody around you. And finally, it plugs into a standard American 20 amp lock. No super special power requirements necessary. Most buildings are going to have 20 amp outlets all throughout the entire place, and this can plug into it. So we truly have one of the very first office grade hard drive shredders. Now let me show you some of the media that we can handle over here. Now we've already talked about classic platter based hard drives. It's going to handle these. Uh, we've also got some solid state hard drives here. Uh, we're we're going to talk a lot about hard drives, but it will do solid state drives as well. Finally, we've got some laptop hard drives right here, and of course, laptop solid state drives. We don't have any in this display right here, but it will do a laptop solid state drive without any trouble at all. Now, let's take a look at the console and the operation. Now, as with most uh, shredding apparatuses, there's not a lot of buttons on this. Uh, we've got a standard console right here, on-off button, and uh, we can interact with the product. Uh, it's got a list of different things that it can take. Uh, hard drives, CDs and DVDs, magnetic tape. So you've got some other options for choosing how it's going to shred it. And all that's really going to control is the speed at which the cutting edge inside moves. And finally, right here, we've got the slot. This is where we're going to put in uh, our drives that we want destroyed. We bring this handle down, and that safely drops it into the chamber without any spit up going up towards the user or any chance of the user's hands finding their way into the cutting chamber. Coming in closer, let's take a better look at the chamber and show you what we can do to these hard drives. Okay, so let's destroy some hard drives. I'm going to start small, and then I'm going to get bigger. First thing I'm going to put in is a solid state hard drive. Put it in, pull down the handle. We're going to hear some crunching in just a moment. There we go, it sounds like it's done. And according to the machine, we're ready to feed some more. So I'm gonna put a platter-based laptop hard drive in. Bring it down. Should be a little bit louder. There we go, sounds like the machine's done with that. Put another one in. All right, now we'll move on to the main event. This is an actual platter-based uh, three and a half inch Seagate hard drive. Drop it in, bring it down, and in a moment we should hear a lot of crunching. There we go, and at this point I'm just waiting until the machine tells me it's ready for the next one. Alright, it's indicating it's ready, I'm going to put it in the next one. There we go. All right, now this is what all the shred residue looks like. Now this is a mobile uh, receptacle for all the residue, so you can pick this up and dump it somewhere if you want to. Uh, but I've got some longer pieces right here. We've done a lot of damage to these hard drives. We've got some bits, pieces of silicon around here. Uh, now again, we've got pieces of hard drive. We've got pieces of laptop drive. We've got pieces of solid state hard drives in here all have been destroyed to a pretty substantial level. Um, now the gousing is going to be the one way that you erase the data, but when it comes to physical destruction, uh, this is doing an excellent job of it all, again, considering that this can be done inside of a commercial environment, and it can also be plugged into a standard American 20 amp line. All right, let's take a look at where the magic happens. This is immediately behind the shredder. And when I open this up, it'll give us full access to the entire cutting chamber. Come on in closer, and you can take a look at what's doing all that damage. And finally, when we're done using the machine, turn this. All the power turns off. Safety locks activate, so nobody can claw in there and hurt themselves. And uh, the machine has safely been turned off. We did a lot of really neat things here today. We destroyed some really big stuff. And we did it with a much smaller unit that you're probably used to seeing. And most importantly, we did it plugged into a standard 20 amp wall outlet. These are all firsts when it comes to hard drive shredding, and that's why we're really excited about the Model 104 hard drive shredder. 
If you have any questions, you can call us, chat us, email us, tweet us. You can hit us on Facebook, any different way you can think of. We're happy to answer your questions. My name is Kyle Mitchell with Whitaker Brothers. Thanks for watching.